The second day, Monday's turmoil. Ah, you were given a room at the Tokyo branch of Jibs and spent the entire night here. Ah. I'm coming in. Oh, my apologies. Looks like you just woke up. The hell is your problem? You can't just knock on the door and then open it and then say you're coming in. You already opened the door. No problem. <sighs> Sorry, I just couldn't find you or Akie. That's why I came to check up on you. I know how tough this situation can be for all of us. Who the hell is Aki? Oh, the, the other guy, the damn dude that looks like a Organization 13 member. Where's Eo? I sent Eo with an escort to check up on her home. All right, cool. Same with Daichi. Once an escort reports back, it'll be your turn. All right, cool. However, Makoto falls silent. What's the matter? We obtained some new information. Oh boy. Honestly, I doubt their houses are safe. Yours either. You must be joking. You can react how you want, but it's the truth. Actually, there is one more thing. Nagato produces her cell phone. We used your information to check into Nicaea. It doesn't seem to be harmful. Wait, she doesn't use Nicaea to summon her demons either? As a result, a number of our agents will use the summoning app on a trial basis. Oh. So how the hell does she summon demons? But you were summoning demons before. We had a homebrew program that simplified the ancient summoning process. Ah, homebrew. Good old-fashioned homebrew. Nicaea's application is far more efficient, though. That's all we've been able to gather about Nicaea's website and the summoning app at this stage. What don't we know? Quite a lot. We haven't even managed to trace the location of the server running it. As a national organization, we have advanced IT to work with, but we're making no progress. I wonder if it's the angels or the demons doing this. Hmm. Whoever Nicaea's administrator is, he's proving to be quite elusive. <laughs> the elusive man, voiced by, this time, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Whoever Nicaea's administrator is, he's proven to be quite elusive. Is it okay to tell me this? Not an issue. I have permission from Chief Hotswain. You're a valuable asset, so you have a certain right to know. I'll keep you updated. Thanks to you, we have a better grasp of our situation. We really owe you one. <laughs> no charge. <laughs> Very interesting. You're not like your friends. Of course, I'm the protagonist. It'll be a little while longer before an escort returns. Make yourself comfortable. Y'all got a PS4 up in here, man? I need to catch up on some gaming action. Oh, you're free to venture outside, but the demons have been on the rise. Stay alert. Will do. Makoto bids you farewell and leaves that room. What the? Y'all ain't got PS4s, y'all got nothing but Nintendo products. What the heck is this? <laughs> it seems you have a new email on your phone. From who? Alright, looks like we got another mail. The Cathedral of Shadows have been added to the Demon Summoning app. Through the Cathedral function, or through the Cathedral function, you can fuse two demons together to form even stronger demons. To keep your team in tip-top shape, we here at Nicaea recommend that you actively fuse demons rather than continuing to level up one set. That's true. There are a number of principles governing, uh, governing the Cathedral of Shadows. Fuse two enemies or demons together to get one new one. The new demon inherits skills from its parents, of course. Skill increases to an extent. Okay, so like bonus stats. Powerful demons not offering their services in the auction can be made through fusion. Have fun fusing. Sounds great. It seems demons can be fused together. Exactly what kind of creatures are those demons? Are they a bit different than yours? Let's find out. Time to go fuse some demons. Gotta go fuse some demons. Cathedral of Shadows, baby. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows. Here you can fuse your demons in order to give birth to new demons. Fuse often to gain even stronger demons. 
Get a few these demons. Oh, looks like Toby is still in the game. Hair of Inaba. <laughs> the hair of Inaba, really? Ginma, he's a unique. Tam Lin. Angry hit, physical up, night soul, and phantasma. I think we Oh, if we can create this guy, I, I think we should create him. It takes a kobold and a poacher, guys. Where's the poacher, guys? No, I can switch the poacher, guys. Yep, I can. I'm going to actually fuse up the much stronger poacher, guys, at a lower level. That was on a lower level. Fuse these two up. Damn. I don't think I should maybe do that. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should fuse up two... Sh you know, whatever, it's, it's too early in the game to actually be trying to optimize, you know, demon stats and everything right now. Damn, all that magic carries over. Every single... Look at that, his... It jumps from two to six, so he carries over the four damn bonus magic. I should change that kobold, too, instead of snipe. I wish I... Ugh, I really need to learn snipe. I don't even have snipe on this guy, given... Giving that guy snipe, giving Tam Lin snipe would actually be very useful, now that I think about it. And then he would have Hero's Aid for a critical hit action. And physical up would be good. And we'd be able to give him some magic spells too. It's very good, because we'd be able to carry over at least Bufu or Agi. I think we would definitely carry over Bufu, because we don't have a lot of enemies or allies with Bufu. So before we do any fusing... I'm actually going to take my time here and actually go to a free battle and try to learn that snipe with the kobold. So we're gonna use Zeo on this guy. Well, maybe not Zeo. We're gonna use Agi on Pixie, Bufu on Tam Lin. The kobold, you're just going to, you know, you're gonna defend. So we need you alive to be able to, you know level up so now Tam Lin we should be able to kill Tam Lin and get this level up with Cabold so he can get sniped so we can then fuse him up in this fusion to get Tam Lin the guy we're beating up on which is hilarious 42 good stuff good stuff he leveled up he's got snipe now we can get the hell out of here so now that we've got Snipe on Kabold, we can now go to the Cathedral of Shadows and fuse up Tam Lin and give him Snipe. Here we go. No, not Anger Hit, because he's already got Anger Hit. We need to switch this to a different one, Suzaku's. Alright, there we go. There we go. Skills known by demons used in fusion can be inherited by new the new can be inherited by the new demon. Excuse me, holy cow, I was talking too fast. Set the skills you wish for the fused demon to inherit in his open skill slots. And another phone call. Holy shit, I got like 17 today. Give me a second, guys. I need to answer this. Alright, guys. Welcome back to more Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. I apologize. I just got a phone call. Well, about a day ago. Everything that you're hearing right now, I'm actually recording this. Well, the commentary at least. About a day later after the previous, I want to say, eight or nine minutes. And the reason is, is because I completely forgot to unmute my mic for the remaining, I want to say, 25 minutes. So what I'm going to do here is pretty much just go ahead and just show you guys the footage I recorded but I'm actually doing post commentary over the footage that I just got done recording. So the voice you hear right now is pretty much a day after I recorded the footage that you're seeing. So basically right here, all I did was just fuse up a couple of demons and what I did with Tam Lin was basically fuse him up with Kobold and Poacher guys and I was able to do a free battle as you've seen in this uh, video and I was able to basically level up Kobold so I can carry over Snipe to Tam Lin because he's pretty much going to be physical base and then at the same time I'm going to be able to 
carry over Bufu to him and then give him Hero's A, which will pretty much help out Tam Lin because he's pretty much physical. So Hero's A is really going to help out when he needs to attack and then he'll pretty much have a higher chance of landing a critical hit and then along with physical up he'll do more damage so it pretty much complement almost all the skills he has complements each other so it's really good so basically yeah that's all I did also had to pretty much like uh, I pretty much just kept on uh, re-entering the screen until I was able to put all the bonus points into magic in agility so he has six agility six magic and he has pretty good strength right now. He has nice strength. So that's pretty much Tam Lin. That's all I did with Tam Lin. The next fusion I ended up doing was with uh, Poetry Guys and Kabuso to pretty much get the Inaba hair. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's a funny name. The hair of Inaba is the name of the damn. Uh, demon and the reason why I fused up the hair of Inaba was to pretty much get access to the devil speed ability because if you've seen my overclock playthrough you know how much I love devil speed it really helps out in trying to you know reach opponents that are trying to escape and whatnot and it's really good to have that utility to be able to move around and battle super quick so it's like a really nice I guess combination to have Devil Speed and then Phantasma because with Phantasma I can move through obstacles and I can basically move an additional three steps so I can move super far away and if there's any obstacles I can just fly through it and get straight to the demon I want to pursue and attack so it's really good to have this Inaba hair so the last demon I fused here was an ogre demon, a jockey type, which has bind. And the only reason I really, you know, fused up this demon was to pretty much get access to somebody with high strength. Well, I wouldn't say high strength, but decent strength for, you know, the point of the game where we're at right now. So he has 10 strength, and then I was able to carry over Zan and Agi to him. And then on top of that, I was able to give him watch, or not watchful, but extra bonus. So he basically has an added chance of pretty much taking away an enemy's extra turn if we hit them in their weak spot or anything that pretty much you know originally takes their extra turns away so if we get a critical hit it's pretty much going to give them a higher chance of taking away that opponent's extra turn so he's basically physical base and the reason why uh, I gave him Zon and Zeo is because well later down the road we're most likely gonna fuse Ogre up so might as well just give him Zan and Agi so for the future fusion we'll have like some options to choose from so if it's like a uh, physical or magical demon we can pass down the magic or if it's a physical we can pass down the anger hit which is a physical move. So. And that's pretty much it for this fusion. That's all I did was fuse up Tam Lin, which was a really good persona to have at this uh, state of the game, or stage of the game, I should say. And I got the Inaba hair and I got Ogre. And then the next thing I did was pretty much go ahead and start it viewing events. So what I'm going to do is pretty much just <laughs> call it a day for my commentary and I'm just going to edit in the rest of the events and I apologize because I am way better with live commentary than post commentary I believe I think I have a lot more fun when I actually do live commentary because it's just it's there it's spontaneous you know I didn't have to think of I didn't spend like five hours trying to think of a freaking forced joke for me to say you know when it's spontaneous it's more genuine that way you know but pretty much just going to let you guys just watch the events and then I'm just going to call it a day for this episode. Oh, hi, sorry. There was no use going back home. Our apartment building toppled. I went inside as far as I could. But... my parents weren't there. Yeah... but... it 
could be a sign that my mom and dad are still alive, right? me, man. I was trying to figure out how to tell you. Well, Gyps gave me an escort and we tried to go see my place. That wasn't happening, though. Buildings were collapsed. There were fires everywhere. We could only go part of the way there, and I, I didn't even get to see my house. Since we're from the same neighborhood, um, I think your house is also... <sighs> Give me a break, right? Why am I making it worse than it is? That wasn't the point. It's not like they found our parents gone or anything. So we'll see them again eventually, right? That's what I thought. They're fine. <laughs> All right, come on, no more moping around. Ah, it's you. Shijima's returned. Have you seen him? I see. Then you've heard? Nita's back as well. You should see her when you have a moment. I am sorry I can't help more. If you'll pardon me, I have many things to attend to. <sighs> oh, hey. I'm just all sorts of sleepy. Just five more minutes. I'm tired. My parents passed a long time ago. This isn't even my hometown. I should swing by my apartment, though. This is the only suit I have on hand. Oh, I guess I don't have to go to work, though, so I'm good. Man, something crazy like this comes along, and suddenly you've got no idea what to do, right? Oh, I'm using it. I'm trying to figure out where Gyps keeps all the food because I am famished. <laughs> 